Welcome to Open Telemetry in 5 minutes. Today we're going to discuss the different deployment options you can use with Open Telemetry. To get that, we need to first understand what component we must deploy, and then we need to understand the different paths that are available for you and choosing the right one for you. So let me share my screen and we will deep dive into the different options that you have. So first, we need to understand the two components that there must be if you're using Open Telemetry. Component number one, that would be the Open Telemetry SDK or the Open Telemetry distribution. So basically, this is an SDK, a package, a library that you import within your code and it will report whatever happening in your microservices. It is going to send traces, logs, and metrics. So it's responsible on collecting it and then sending it. It's sending it to an open telemetry collector. The open telemetry collector receives this data and then do whatever we ask it to do, to process it, to stream it to somewhere else, to store it in a database. So those are the two must-have components that you must, you must have. Now you can use different uh, deployment types. You can decide that you're going to use full open source options or full vendor options. Um, so those would, or anything in between. Um, so we're going to review those. But before we're jumping into understanding how to take this decision or what is the decision tree that we need to go through, we first need to understand the problem that we need to solve. So the balance that we need to, to balance here is um, open telemetry is mostly a problem of scale. So you are going to have a lot of data. So let's think about how much data you are going to have. If you're implemented in your own microservices, for every API call you get, for every DB call, um, cache call, the external API calls, any uh, network activity is going to result with a new event or a new spend in, spend in the open telemetry world. So that's going to be a lot. You are going to send a lot of data from the open telemetry SDK to the open telemetry collector. That means that the open telemetry collector is going to be under a lot of load. And anytime you're going to have issue there, uh, a downtime, um, a availability issue, you are going to lose the data that you use in order to monitor applications. You don't want to do that. So the first question you need to decide is, are you going to use a vendor or you're going to have 100% open source? If you're going 100% open source, you're going to have the open telemetry SDK as an open source, the open telemetry collector, and then you're going to stream the data somewhere that you can visualize it, again, using a vendor. In that situation, um, that means that you take all the heavy lifting on yourself, which is not a bad thing because you get tons of flexibility. So you'll be responsible on running backups, security, handling the scale, auto-scaling, um, everything that you need to do in order to run a backend application, you will need to do right here. That's great because it'll give you a lot of flexibility, but if you don't want to and you do want to have some kind of a vendor, then you have a few options. So the first question that you're, you're going to face is whether you're going to run an open telemetry native SDK or native distribution, or you're going to take the vendor distribution. So looking at the, at the SDK that implemented within your microservice, it could be either the native um, release distribution of open telemetry, the open source one, if you will, or you can have the vendor one. So the vendor is also going to take open telemetry. It's going to configure it, extend it, do whatever they want with the open telemetry, and then distribute it on other, their own responsibility. And once they do that, um, they kind of take the responsibility. They usually give you more feature and better experience. And what they will do is they will send the data to their own open telemetry collector. So you won't need to handle the open telemetry collector. You don't need to run it at all, which is great because it reduces the amount of operation that you have. However, within your code, you don't have actually an open source thing, you have a vendor thing. So 
you are in a vendor lock situation. So it's very easy to set up, but um, if you don't want to be in a vendor lock situation, that's not the route that you're looking for. So the second thing you, you can do is you can implement in your microservices an open telemetry native distribution. So it's entirely open source, but then you need to decide whether you're going to send it to directly to the vendor or what you can do also, you can send it to an open collector that you manage and then from that send it to the vendor. Now let's review those two options. So we are talking about a native open telemetry distribution and you can have your own collector on send directly to a vendor. Let's start with discussing about your own collector. So you have this full stack solution, you have the um, native SDK, you have your own collector, and within this collector, you can do whatever you want with the telemetry data. So you can choose traces to send to vendor A and logs and metrics to vendor B. You can do basically anything you want to do in that, in that collector, and this is giving you tons of flexibility. So you can do any changes, any configuration that you want to have, Changing a vendor should be quite simple. However, you're still operating the whole stack yourself. You, you have the open telemetry and you have the uh, collector. So it's kind of the most flexible and the most operational route to go with. Um, I think it's kind of a lose-lose unless you have a good reason to, but you do have a very win-win situation at hand. So what you can do is still run a native open telemetry SDK and send the data directly to a vendor. This means that um, you have no vendor lock in terms of the data collection itself. You are collect collecting a pure open source data that you can send to directly to a vendor. If you don't like that vendor, all you need to do is you need to redeploy your open telemetry SDK with a different configuration to point to a new vendor. That does mean that the deployment process, um, to make a change in the vendor, you need to go through a deployment process, which, you know, you don't change a vendor that often. Um, so the data is your, is your own. Um, you are in charge of it. You can have pure open source data, and then you're just sending the data to a vendor. So I think this is probably a very good route if you want something in between. But if you are in bit to, to a situation where you don't want to manage anything, just run the vendor distribution um, and it will be very, very easy. And if you don't want to use a vendor at all, you can run everything open source. Um, so tons of operation are waiting for you, but it's, it's a good route if this operation isn't too complex for you. So those are all of the... Um, different routes that you could go. I hope it helps you to pick the right way for you. Thank you very much.